There was a video that went viral recently, and it was from Oakland's KTVU. They were talking about uh, the tragic Asiana crash uh, where uh, three individuals were dead, uh, up to 180 were injured. It was a really tragic story, and they wanted to talk about the pilots on the plane. Now, someone had turned in uh, the names of the pilots, and obviously it was a joke, and uh, the names went as followed. Uh, Captain Sum Ting Wong, we too low, holy fook, and bang ding ow. I don't know if you can hear the Asian guy laughing off camera. I don't know That's if you can hear Steve that. That's the CEO of, yeah. uh, of TYT, and yeah. he's laughing at it. And he's uh, South Korean. You know Korea, why he's so. laughing at it? Because it's perfect comedy. That's why he's laughing at it. It's so funny. And the other thing about that joke is it would have been funny at any point in the last 120 years. But it's not funny now. I think it's hilarious. Though. Well, now, okay. I um, feel bad laughing about it, but I. I, 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 I what's not funny about it? The fact that three young children oh, are gone. No, 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 okay, no, no, that's not. Well, we can't forget that. Yeah, that's yeah, where yeah. this joke yeah, generates. But yeah, but the, all right. Well, then you then you can't make fun of the Holocaust. You can't. Well, make you fun really of can't make fun of the Holocaust. Sure, you can. Really? But yeah, Mel Brooks makes fun of the Holocaust. What about the the producers, for instance? We made fun of slavery on Chappelle. Wait, 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 wait. The producers wasn't they necessarily lie. making fun of the Holocaust. Or, 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 or uh, how about uh, Life is Beautiful? How about uh, To Be or Not To Be? There's plenty of movies. We, that's about Nazi Germany. That wasn't about the Holocaust. Uh, but that's, this the, the isn't two, about, two this is about Asian things. names. This yeah, isn't about the tragedy. this is about a plane tragedy. that had a, cra a crash landing in San Francisco not a few days after the fact that, that two at the time, young Asian women, y girls died. And, and we have a network actually looking at the, the names, not assuming that it was a stupid, racist-based joke, because they probably have very little interaction with the Asian community, not thinking that this could possibly be a gag, I'm not gonna do this. That's what happens when people don't live outside of themselves, don't have friends from other cultures, other religions, other, other beliefs, and they, you know, they took it, uh, they I, took their word for it. I think that's just a news reading problem. I think it's just no, your it's so I think it's deeper than but that. But I think it's a teleprompter problem. If you put something well, I wouldn't know. You would know it, after you no, read no, the first. No, I, should, I, I should didn't know. know. I, when I read the joke, I didn't know because I wasn't pronouncing them the way you're supposed to. Yeah, so I wasn't I should, pronouncing. I, I should note that uh, the the station has taken full responsibility for this. They did apologize, and they made the horrible, horrible mistake of um, confirming the names with an intern. They didn't realize it was an intern at the time, but they didn't confirm the intern How, status. As a and also, reader. they didn't they didn't sound it out phonetically, which I'm, is a disaster. I'm, I'm I mean, there's no excuse. If you are if you are reading from a teleprompter, look, I get it. A lot of anchors, especially in local television, <laughs> Are not. It's about like getting it out first. It's about the race to be first and not the race to be accurate. It's definitely, and that's the it's definitely about that, and it's also about the fact that what you see on television a lot of times, you don't see journalists. Okay, you see actors, actresses, models, <laughs> like. Well, <laughs> when it comes to newscasts, especially on local television, I'm yeah. sure some of them have a degree in journalism, whatever. But do you think that they come in early and they no. read what the teleprompter right. is gonna also, say and they sound they're live, they're live not in their time. I think it's hilarious and I think that it, you can make fun of anything and including slavery, Hitler, and death. Death is horrible because and yet we make fun of it all the time. Uh, well, well, the risk of flight uh, uh, danger is for everyone. So. It, like, you can't just say because three kids died. Hitler killed everybody. But no Hitler one was making a joke about it two days after the fact. To be or not to be came out in 1941, two 42. Two days after the fact. Is it there any going sense on. of decency? No, but then you're getting Professor into like, Robert. what's the right amount of time to wait? There's no, it's it's Comedy totally, is tragedy plus time. That's a fake line from Woody Allen movie. Uh, that's what, not what, like a theory. What, what, what a joke is, is an invitation to look at the world a certain way. Right. What, what, when, you're, when you're told a successful racist joke and you're a non-racist, let's say, that's yeah. like, like, like the nappy-headed hoe punchline, yes. okay, from right. Don Imus. Right. That's right. a clearly racist joke in my yeah. mind yeah. because he was inviting the world to respond to the world, to, to the world, to, his audience to respond to the world in a certain way, to think of black women in a certain way, and to laugh at their expense, to make them a punchline. Right. That's very different than, for example, the way you and Chappelle use the right. N-word in which you invite the world, you invite the audience to respond to the world, to become a certain person. And that's why you feel guilty when you laugh at that racist joke, by the way. Yeah. When you, because you, you realize you've become a certain person, you've accepted 
accepted that invitation that the joke had implicit in it and you don't like who you've become. A good joke that's non-racist is one that allows you to laugh but learn, to well, laugh but gain insight. I say insight. the word in my act about being called it. So it's not like, eh, uh, I think we're talking Mark Twain about apples used and oranges. Th there was no intellectual feeding with this gag that someone pulled. N it was not insightful. It wasn't meant for people to talk about, geez, how do I feel about Asians and what's my... D it was a mean, nasty, racist joke. I would, I would contend that it was any time that you can make fun of a horrible death situation, it's better. You th then, we're the thumbing then, then give me a Trayvon Martin joke. I don't have any on me, but that doesn't mean that there doesn't exist one. So had someone made a Trayvon Martin joke two days after if we it heard about good, it, then they I oh don't, then gosh. fine. Okay. If it was one that made us critically reflect on ourselves, confront ourselves in the joke, right. for example, you know, it would have to be a, uh, uh, it, very, you have to be a virtuoso no, joke yeah, yeah, teller, yeah. 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 But it, I'm not saying Don Idas could. You know, it's not, it's not for everybody. We don't have, have people to do it. Only the ghost of Richard Pryor. It would have to be Richard Pryor. That's it.